Hey modelers, welcome back. So today I've got a little bit of a tool and tip for you. When I've been building a couple of my models, some of you have asked, how do you just kind of create that different tonal variety to everything? And in the past, what I would use is something kind of like this. You could call it pre-shading, marbling, modeling, a lot of different things to it and it creates a pretty cool effect. But I've been trying this that I, I got if you watched my last video. This is something, I'm trying to remember the exact name, but it's something you can find in Joann's for about the same price as what you would find in actually the hobby store with the hobby packaging. But what it'll do is it'll get you a really cool different pattern. So let's show you how to use this. So the process for this is relatively simple in theory. I started out with just Tamiya German Gray, overlaid the mask, and then I'm applying a thinned coat of German Gray with a little bit of buff just to kind of change the tone to it. Now as it is, it's a pretty cool effect. But if you want to make it a little bit more pronounced, then just add a couple more drops of the Tamiya buff or sand or whatever you want to use or just add a little bit more paint out of the airbrush. Now we're gonna do the same thing with olive drab. I'm just adding a couple of drops to the paint mix of either buff or sand, something to just offset that color. Now, if you think that this is too much, remember we're gonna be putting all sorts of other weathering on top of it generally. But if you do want to tone it down, then just put a layer of thin olive drab over the top of it. Now at this point I actually had a little bit of a goof, that's why you can see all that speckling. That wasn't on purpose. So I had to paint that again, and we're going to try just a little bit more of a heavy layer on the right side. And then we're going to go over it with a little bit more olive drab and try to take a look at the effect. Now as I go over this with some thin olive drab, you can kind of see where the effect becomes less stark, kind of fades away. And that's the way that I want to think about all this is just multiple layers. You don't even have to do just one layer of buff. You could have a darker layer, a blue, a yellow layer to kind of get it to shift even more. And you can add a lot of interest to just what is a flat panel. So this is my Eduard Messerschmitt BF109K and I've been experimenting with this technique with it and I'm afraid that a lot of what I did is going to be just really lost especially once I'm uh, done with the weathering phase so I might actually try to make it more pronounced. You're going to think it's really exaggerated at first but once all the other layers on top it kind of fades away. So here's my Liberty International that I'm working on from Vargas Models. And I think the effect's pretty dang cool. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments.